Incremental greetings. Incremental greetings. I want to share with you one of the trick trickery you can use in Super Memo to have a hint function. When you have a question and answer, you want a hint, but it's not displayed at all times, only when you want to. Which I did some sort of solution three years ago, but now I have a better solution. Let me first show one example. So here I have the question. The RAM tab in the slip chart is included in Super Memo for, for what? For research purpose only. This is not the best formulation, but this is a good example because this answer could be anything. I have this at question time. And if I hover, boom, 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 purpose. So that is the same as if I had this, right? But what happens is that I have this at all times. So perhaps if you really want to use hints to easier to recall, it's queuing, aiding to recall without giving you the answer right away. That's something you can do. Then how I achieve that, the trickery, I'm using the translation registry. One of the very arcane registries in Super Memo. And if you go to other registries, it's here. In this case, I only have one K, one that is this. This is meant to translate your collection. And that was done in the 90s, I think, because you have Polish and English. So if the English was not enough for you, the English proficiency, you had the Polish or something like that. So it's about to translate the content. So the question, the string of the question is translated in the language. But Instead of doing this, you can use it for uh, the, uh, the hint. That means that this field will be the hint of this question, not the translation. Uh, how you did it? How you can do this? Let me search quickly. Oh, that's a better example. The blah, blah, blah is the idea that the individuals, blah, blah, blah. A self-reference effect. And I have a hint of effect. So I will take this as an example, that if you have something, you can just pick at one element or one word that is kind of helping you to recall the answer, regardless if you think this is good or not. I think that's not good, but that's not the scope of this video. So what I will do is there are different ways to do it. Now, if I hover, nothing happens because there's no translation. So if we go to links, and registry member. As uh, some back, okay. You will see a question mark. That means it's empty. So I don't know how it's meant to be used, but that's one of the ways you can do it. So I just write effect and that's it. So that will be the simulation of the repetition. Is the blank is the idea that individuals blah, 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 blah. It's oh shoot, instead of now I don't know what's this. I do get what I'm being asked. It's not that I need help in order to understand a cue, in order to understand what I'm being actually asked to recall. No, no, no. I got it, but oh shoot, I cannot recall it. But instead of giving me the answer, give me a fraction of the answer or a, um, a piece of information that, that is related that will help me recall it. And whoop effect in this case. Oh, now that I see effect, oh yeah, it's the self-reference effect. This will weaken your recall, this hint, but that's not the point of this video, it's not, not, not the scope. But that's how you can do this um, hint. Then, there's another way you can do it, and I think it's the one that is meant to be used. Oh man, I'm really struggling to find examples for my collection because I never use hints. So that's a thing a good example. The Hellenistic period covers the period of Mediterranean history between the one event in this year and the emergence of the Roman Empire. So what will happen that I, I'm giving already the, uh, the year in this case. But we'll, we will adapt this example. So let's say that I want to recall the, the year. And I give the event as a hint. 
So I could have. I actually forgot the key binding again. One second. How is supposed to be done? Okay, so I had to actually check how it is done. So keep in mind what it did. Uh, links, please remember and put it here. That's not how it's meant to be used. I know that. But this it was just to um, illustrate it. How you actually input? Let me copy this first. Is by click, control click. And then you have the hint. And here I can adapt the text between this year and the other event, the emergence of the Roman Empire. Okay. So now I will be asking the year, and the hint will be a related event. That why was that year? Because Alexander the Great died. Cool. So then I also need to adjust the answer. The answer. That's the year. Now let's simulate. The Hellenistic period covers the period of Mediterranean history between what year and the emergence of the Roman Empire, which I could also have the year here. I sorry, I I hover. I have the hint. Is oh wow, what year? Uh, I don't remember. But before showing me the answer, already, 323 before Christ, I still want the opportunity. So I will have the hint. Ah, oh, yeah, Alexander the Great, when he died. And I know that he died in what year? Pa -pa -pam. So even if I rate now, I will rate my recall as a failure. Perhaps instead of little, it will be wrong response with some lazy recall. At least I had some active recall. So I'm reinforcing the connection that A, the Hellenistic period uh, starts with the death of Alexander the Great. So I have this semantic connection. So then next time I um, see this, oh yeah, I don't know what year it is, but I know it's the same year as Alexander the Great. And I already know when he died. So it's just reusing it in a different context. It's one of the ways I could um, do this in case I leech this card. And this is on hover. What I could do is go to toolkit options and do mouse click. Okay. I actually, what happens that I never tried myself with the setting and I realized it's not working. So in that case, uh, even for convenience, because I usually use the laptop, so I don't have a wheel, I don't have a mouse, I'll be using on um, mouse move, mouse lower, I would say. So that's an idea how you can use hints. And on top of that, you can know which elements have links already because you're using a registry. So anytime I can go to search other registries and hint translation, and now I have three. So what I see in listed is the hint, not the question. Effect, purpose, that of Alexander the Great, da, da, da. If you click this button, browse all elements using... Now here I will list all of the items that are using a hint. That doesn't mean that at all repetitions I will have seen that hint. But I could check the stats if I want to. I process the browser and check the statistics and see if this is doing hints is actually getting lower performance in the long term. That yes, I succeed next time because of the hint. But later and later, I will have a weaker recall or whatever you, you may want to, um, to check and see what happens. So remember, this year, that is not a hint. It's a queue. A close solution queue because of the limitations. I haven't reformulated this in a question. It's in a statement. So I need this for context. It's not helping me. It's between if I see year or not, I will not, it's not giving me 323, the specific year. I know it's a year. Which one? This is not helping me to decide which year it was, right? But the hint 
it is helping me recall that so remember that's the hint even if it's more anki style how you see hints in close relation is the cure and the hint is this and you can use the registry translation registry let me know if this is useful if you are going to use this if you use hints at all and yeah that were my two cents see you incrementally